2.1b, divisibility tests. A number is divisible by a smaller number if the smaller number evenly divides into the number. Which means there's no remainder when you divide. There are some easy divisibility tests for the first three prime numbers, two, three, and five. We know that a number is divisible by two if the last digit is even, which means that it is a zero, a two, four, six, or an eight. Next, we know that it divides by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. We will see an example of this below. Next, we know that the number is divisible by five if the last digit is a five or a zero. For the prime numbers seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen, long division is usually the best option. This means you use long division to see if seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, or nineteen divides into the number. Let's look at example one. In example one, it asks, 2,730 is divisible by which prime numbers? Looking back at our divisibility test, we know that if we look at the last digit and it is even, then it is divisible by two. So, so far, we know that it is divisible by two. Next, it, uh, we can see if it's divisible by three if the sum of the divisible digits is divisible by three. The sum of the digits means we add up each of the digits in two, seven, three, zero. So two plus seven plus three plus zero. When we add these up, we get twelve. We know that twelve is evenly divisible by three, so that means that the entire number is divisible by three. Next, we see if it's divisible by five. Remember, the last digit needs to be a five or a zero. Since it is a zero, we know the entire number is divisible by five. To see if there's additional numbers that it is divisible by, we can always start dividing the number by each of the numbers we've already found. Let's start with two. Two goes into two once. Two goes into seven three times. Two goes into thirteen six times. And two goes into ten five times. Next, we take thirteen sixty five and divide it by another one of the numbers, such as the three. Three goes into thirteen four times. Three goes into sixteen five times. And three goes into fifteen five times. Now, we use the five. Five goes into four hundred fifty-five. Five goes into forty-five nine times. And five goes into five once. We now have the number 91 remaining after we've divided out two, three, and five. To see if 91 is a prime or composite number, meaning there may be more prime numbers in it, we start dividing it by the next prime number. The next prime number would be seven. 
Remember from above that for 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19, we must use long division. 7 goes into 9 once, and 7 goes into 21 three times. As you can see, we now finally have resulted with a prime number of 13. This means we have found all the prime numbers. We found 2, 3, and 5 using the tests, and we additionally found 7 and 13 using long division. That means 2,730 is divisible by 2, 3, 5, 7, and 13. Let's look at example 2. Example 2 asks 133 is divisible by which numbers? Let's start with our three divisibility tests. To see if it's divisible by 2, it needs to be even. The last digit is 3, which is not an even number, therefore it is not divisible by 2. Next, we check to see if it's divisible by 3. Remember, we must find the sum and see if it is divisible by 3. The sum of 133 would be 1 plus 3 plus 3, which is 7. 7 does not evenly divide by 3, therefore 3 does not go into 133. Next was 5. 5 said that the last digit needed to be either a 5, or zero. The last digit is three, therefore five is not one of the numbers. This means we must start with number seven from the list of prime numbers. Remember, with numbers above seven, we must use long division. Seven goes into thirteen one time. which leaves six and a three. Seven goes into sixty-three nine times with a remainder of zero. Since both seven and nineteen are prime numbers, we know we are finished. And the two numbers that one hundred and thirty-three is divisible by is seven and thirteen. In conclusion, use divisibility tests to determine which numbers can go into the number you are trying to find. For two, the last digit must be even. For a three, the sum of the digits must divide by three. For a five, it must end in a five or a zero. And for all prime numbers, seven and larger, use long division.